Hey road trippers, we're here at Seminole Canyon State Park and we're going to do the Canyon Rim Hike. I would have called it the Canyon Rim Trail. Canyon Rim Trail? I think it's the same. I don't know why they... Uh... Does it matter? Nice sunrise hike today. We start off with a nice easy trail. A little bit chilly this morning. Upper 40s. And everyone says this has the best views. All right, quarter mile, Rio Grande. Yeah, beautiful sunrise. So far, it's just been really flat, simple, nice, easy trail for the first quarter mile. Um, pretty much wide enough to drive a car. Run, Allison, run. Why'd you stop running? Because I want to finish the trail. <laughs> you can do it. Yeah, I think we split here. Okay. Canyon Rim Trail. Splits off right there. We're going to probably return on our hike right there. Want to make it a full loop. The trail's no longer sandy, it's more rocky. There it is, quarter mile on the canyon rim now. You, you already said that we were quarter mile back there. <laughs> it was quarter mile on the whatever trail. Now we're quarter mile on this. So we only have, what, seven and a half miles to go? So you're walking along the edge for quite a while and lots of drop-offs. You'll be fine if you just make sure you stay away from the edge. There's plenty of room to walk so far. Shoo! How far? 25. Half a mile. Great for sunrise if you are headed this way out of the campsite. Uh, views have been really pretty so far. And you can see where the visitor center is. All the way over there. We actually did the hike down below. Uh, pretty cool. You can see a lot of petroglyphs and historic artifacts. So definitely do the hike when you're in this park. Some areas are a little rockier than others, but it's been pretty easy. One mile on this trail. So here's a little split off, Canyon Rim Trail, Presa Canyon Trail. And you can take that one down to the Presa Canyon Trail. Nice little place to sit. See the trail meanders around. There's your mile and a half marker. Yeah, that is weird. Looks like it's just like separated. Preston said it looks like they tore the paint off wood. 1.75. And there's the two mile marker. There's another view of that scraped up wall. So you can see way off in the distance where we're headed, right over there. Looks like uh, where the Rio Grande comes together with this canyon. And we're coming up on 2.25 on this trail. And the president's gonna tell us the time between markers. About four minutes. Four minutes? Yeah. For a quarter mile? Yeah, 
four uh, minutes. Dude, winding around again. The ground has transitioned to this kind of flat limestone rock. Four minutes again. Four minutes, two and a half miles on this trail. Doing okay? Uh -huh. Let's see this. Oh my gosh. What'd you see? The water. Still the water. Whoa, that's a drop off right there. That is cool. How long? Four minutes, 30 seconds. And we're at 2.75. All right, so the GoPro video died. Looks a little different, that's why. If it's extra shaky, that's why too. Shooting on my phone. Mile marker three on this trail. All right, 325. The terrain has been about the same throughout the whole hike. 3.5. Getting closer to the Rio Grande. There it is. 3.75. Uh, we'll be heading to the left, but then on the way back, we will be heading that way. Nice little bench if you need a break. See the sun getting a little higher in the sky. Don't throw rocks. What if you drop rocks? You drop rocks? Yeah. What, what do you mean you drop rocks? Uh, you drop rocks into the canyon. Oh, instead of throwing them, just yeah. gently drop them down? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe they should specify, right? I no. Don't, don't put a rock into the canyon. <laughs> no, the feather cave is on the other side. It's all the way at the Rio Grande. We're not quite there yet. We are almost there. Shelter in case you get a little hot. Keep our trails clean, please. Honestly, so far this trail has been sparklingly clean. I haven't seen anything on it. No garbage anywhere. Nice job to uh, the Friends of Seminole Canyon. I think that was the name of the trail group. Excellent job keeping this trail spotless. There it is, the Rio Grande and the Mexican border. This will let you look out over Panther Cave. All right, there's Panther Cave Overlook. So there's the ladder and the little boat ramp to get over there. And what they say about it, yeah, they said you get in a kayak down there and they pull you across. Gonna take a little break up here for a few minutes and relax and enjoy the views. Have a snack. What do you think of the views, Gray? Good. All right, we're headed back from the Panther Cave. Pretty cool. Love to take a tour down to it. Uh, we can see it from a distance with a super long lens. Hopefully Allison's shots turn out and mine do too. Had to shoot it on the other camera to hit it from a long distance. All right, so we're gonna take the Rio Grande Trail two and a quarter miles. Faster way back and see if there's anything cool along the way. Otherwise, I'll see you at the end. You can see there's a little shade out here. Not a lot of cover out here. Fork, and we're going to continue down the Rio Grande. All 
Alright, Road Trippers, we're back at the truck. Let's get some reviews from everybody. I give it an S. Amazing views of the canyon, and it was really cool seeing Panther Cave at the end and the, the drawing that was there. Just highly recommend it. Cool. I think I'd give it an A. It had good views, but it was long, and we went really early, so it was pretty cold. Um, before I fell down and hurt myself, it, it would be a golden S, but after it, it's now an A plus. Oh, from a golden S to an A plus, can I see? Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Um, Let's see your hand. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Uh, for me, I. Love the hike, I definitely would give it an S. Uh, the walk down along the river was fantastic. Um, the walk back is kind of boring, uh, but beautiful. The panther was kind of cool, hard to see. Definitely need to take a tour if you really want to see it. I'll bring a really long lens. Uh, views were spectacular. It was a nice hike, uh, loved it. All right, road trippers, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.